Good morning, I'm Polarized Moon, and welcome back to the park. We just got off the Hansel and Gretel weird ride, and now- is that a van? Hello? Okay, I guess I check out the van. Oh, sparks. Another I don't like accident. it when things spark. This place. Uh... Where are you? Another accident? Okay. Okay, why did I do that? I still feel like I'm being followed by someone. Oh, is that your t- Ah, uh, That has a knife in it. That's not- Despite the constant interruptions to work, Atlantic Par Island Park will be opening t on time. The- Something- It's so hard to read. The- Something is booked to cat- Cut the oh. The the governor is booked to cut the the ribbon, so only real question is whether we will have any customers. I'm not truly worried. The customers will come out of the simple curiosity. I decided it was from it was uh, needed from the band the band writings of Archie Henderson's. It's astonishing to think that a response of positive emptiness, positive emotions, can be used to fuel such a process. Henderson himself chose to use negative, and that caused some of the taint that still lingers in this place. I will not make his mistakes. Very soon, I will know if all this has been for nothing. This is okay. Game, okay. Mother said, quack, quack, quack. Uh... Why is there a knife in this bear in its eye? Don't hide from me, Callum. Okay, let's continue on. That was a loon. I hear loons all the time. I live in Minnesota. Common loons are very common. Uh, that was in like slow motion or something. Yeah, I'm hearing whispering coming out of the loudspeakers. It's it's kind of disturbing. Well, everything in this game is disturbing already. I mean... Okay, well, Stop, here's, here's the octopus ride. Is he... You can't catch me. Stop, Where is he? Callum. This way. How can he be whispering to me? I'm not playing anymore, Callum. I don't see I him. Thing used to make the blood run to my head. Make me dizzy. Oh my gosh, that thing is. Well, it Where looks fun, you? but it also looks terrifying. Got hey, little cars. Follow the trail. Uh. Nice to see you, Callum. Okay, what does this say? Examine Polaroid. Oh, I remember this. Uh. What is that? Is that Slenderman in the background there? What is that? Okay, why is there a Polaroid of... Wait Do I need to... Me. Oh, something in here? I can't get on while it's moving. What? Do I have to... Am I really gonna ride this thing? I'm... I'm... Okay. I'm... Getting on... I'm getting on this thing, really? So I just have to. Oh my gosh, I can't believe. Mouth, sweetie. Mother duck said, quack, 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 quack. I'm not playing anymore, Callum. Uh. I. I'm gonna ride the octagon, or whatever it was called. Oh my gosh, that is terrifying. Why is this even an option? Whoa, whoa, whoa. There was a dude there. Uh, excuse me. I don't know how... There's a guy in the... There's a guy in the thing. Uh... Is he gone? I didn't, I didn't see. Oh my gosh, what? 
Oh, oh, holy crap. What is that? What is that? Oh my god. I don't even know what... Okay. Uh... <laughs> I'd like to get off now. Who's stopping it? I had to stop it myself earlier. What was that thing? Uh... You got torn pants and everything. This is, uh... There's so much detail work put into this. I'm, I'm extremely surprised. This is a great game so far. It's also extremely terrifying. Callum, where did you go? Uh, what happens if I just keep increasing the speed? Can I... Can I keep going? Increase the speed! Warp speed, Mr. Sulu. I actually don't know anything about Star Trek. That's, uh... Is Sulu the guy that controls the speed? I don't know. Who controls the warp drive? How fast can I get this thing to go? Can I make it fly? Let's make it fly. No? No flying? Okay, fine. The... Octotron. That thing is... It's got like... I like four eyes and it's got like six eyes and a Callum? I don't even know. Can I get out of here? That was the guy that was this guy. Who is that? This is the way out, right? Okay. Treachery that lashes like a whip and scars our insides. The first time I saw Callum. My thoughts betrayed me. I looked down at this wrinkled, red, bawling thing and I thought, is that it? We built uh, from expectations, and the world that I had built for Callum is no different. He was so real, so there, and so far from my expectations. And he shattered excuse me? And as they fell in pieces, that one treacherous thought became a new foundation. All of the love that we shared. All the warmth and goodness that followed, built on a single, traitorous thought. Where are you? Uh... You seem to be having some issues. Callum, tell Mommy where you are. Hey, do I have a flashlight? What's going on here? Oh my gosh, there's someone in there. Uh, I thought working the park for a summer would be a lot of fun, but at the end season here really drags. There aren't that many tourists around, so most of the staff spend their days sitting around gossiping, and most of the gossip was about Chad. Chad? I mean, Steve. See, oh, Chad was the the, the park uh, mascot. Even I am starting to call him Chad, and I went to school with the guy. That's the goddamn... It's that goddamn suit. It's in, in the beginning, it was a laugh. Steve, the local lush... As Chad, the chipmunk. F child friendly mascot. At Atlantic Island Park. Lock up your daughters and all of that. But the more he wears that suit, the weirder Steve is getting. At first, it was the little things, like refusing to change out of the suit and at work and taking it home with him every day. But I saw him at Susie's diner still wearing it. And it wasn't even at work day. Some of the staff complains discreetly to park managers about the smell, and I saw him walking and talking with Mr. Winter, the owner, one day. But nothing seems to have changed. The suit, st suit still smells like a carcass whenever Steve walks by, and apparently Steve has picked up some new... new chills? Since the last time I saw him picking up... oh, new... puking up a greater... Oh, I can't even read this. A, uh, outside this Cyril station? Because he sure as hell can carve a mean ice sculpture. I Those shapes he makes in the ice, though, they give me the creeps. Steve came by both today, look, heh, in the booth today, lucky me, and he just hung around for a while. I couldn't really tell because the suit, but it seemed like he was just staring at me, eyeing me up. I fucking me whatever he was doing. I asked him what he wanted and he just stood there. 
not saying anything. Eventually, I called my supervisor, and when he came by, Chad, Steve, wandered off. My supervisor told me to put everything in writing, so here it is. Also, I quit. I don't want to see what that chipmunk suit ever again. Laura Hensley. Oh my god! Uh... Uh, can I get in there? Where'd you go? You can't catch me. I don't know if I want to catch you. What's? Oh, there was that weird voice again. Is there? Uh, can I? Oh my gosh! I don't know who that is. Okay, things are starting to get a little creepier. There's a jump scare. Oh, that's the octopus monster from the... Come out, sweetie. Oh my gosh, that thing is terrifying. Oh, that's a... Uh, uh, that's one of those... Um, that gate right there? They have those in Japanese shrines. I, I don't quite know the whole story about it. I was talking about them in a previous... Ep in a recent episode of... Uh, in a recent episode of... Uh, they bleed pixels. They had some of those in the background. Um, they have something to do with the spirit world in Japan, I think. Uh, don't quote me on that. I'd have to look it up. But from what I understand, they have them at a lot of shrines, and it has something to do with spirituality, and sometimes they're uh, represented with monsters and yokai that come through them. Um, so I guess that makes sense as to why that's there, or why this is here. Hello? Oh my gosh. That's creepy. Well... Uh Don't hide from me, Callum. Bumper cars, wonderful. Stop, Callum. I don't even see you anymore. Callum. Constant crashes in 80s music. Guess it floats someone's boat. Where are you? Uh Examine device. Uh Oh, cut like an actual cutscene. What? Okay, something else is happening here. Uh, I think she went through shock therapy, it seems like. Shocking revelations. Come to mommy, Callum. Why is that one lit up? Callum. Uh, let's run over there. I'm not. I'm not liking the look of this. Hello. Okay. Why? Wait, Callum. Is that one even touching the? Oh, it is. Okay. So these examine accident report. Accident report. Employee Francis Defreen, October 1976. Uh, laborers working at crane on the crane. Blah blah blah. Richard Lawrence Creed. Uh, during the transport of the bumper cars to the area, one of the straps. At uh, attaching the load to the truck came untied, causing a cascade of bumper cars onto Francis, who was w standing directing the driver. Francis was crushed by the weight of the cars. Describe any injuries. The Francis was killed. Did the injured employee see a doctor? Yes. If yes, did you file employer's portion of the workers' comp form? Yes. The truck driver claims to have seen someone on the back of the load undoing the straps. Nobody else reported seeing this. The sheriff has requested that Dexter provide them with a urine sample. What could have been done to prevent this accident? Double order, but double checking the straps after a tra harness tra transit should be mandatory and drug screenings for all drivers. The local laborers are very superstitious and this has been... I can't read that, it's under... Uh, some of them are refusing to return to work until someone from the local 
until we have someone from the local church walk the park and exercise the bad spirits. What the? Uh, I can't move. Oh my gosh, what the heck? Okay. Uh, get out of the way. Uh... Wait, wasn't I supposed to follow the... Follow the path over here? Uh, now I'm hearing baby crying. Where are you, Cal? That's weird. Stay where you are. Whoa, wait, hold on. Why do I hear baby crying? What is this? Are. There's something going on. Oh, that's creepy. Read what newspaper. Nathaniel Winter, financial genius for eccentric geriatric. Why Nathaniel Winter, billionaire Mongol mogul, announced his intentions to build an amusement park? Doesn't make sense. Uh, he's digging for deeper than is needed for an amusement park. Perhaps Nathaniel is going to surprise us all. Uh, okay. I don't know. I, it's so hard to read those. I don't know. Alan, why did you go? Uh. Oh wait, hold on. Mommy is coming, Calum. Oh, I should go. I I need to follow the path. Let's follow the path. I don't know. I don't know what's over there, but following the path seems to be the more rational. Uh... Mommy is coming, Callum. Read page. Dissuade them. They have sent an inspector to investigate the accidents at the park. I've given them a grand tour and spoken about uh, safety upgrades, but he seems unconvinced. In this case, the park itself is well work is working against me. The doorman has become more and more in intractable the more times he spends in the park. Intractable. I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means. That's weird. I've offered to pay for his stay in the over and the over overlook hotel to get him out of here it seems to have made him more paranoid I don't think this man is going to allow my park to stay open this is a disaster for my unfortunate goals or my ultimate goals Callum? Callum? um Okay, this looks like progress, and there's a baby crying out this way, so I'm assuming I should go over this way first. Maybe. Oh, there's another... There's another one of those... Uh, there's another one of those gates. I don't remember what the gates are called. But I do know that, I th if I remember correctly, I think the, the story goes that sometimes you can step through them and into another world or something. Maybe that's what's going on here. But that's very oh, Japanese... That's a very Japanese, or an oriental feel for a game that doesn't quite have that, so I don't know if... I don't think that's quite what's going on here. So Calum, what's over here? Tell mommy where you are! Well, how are you supposed to get here without... It's a matter of public record that I am a failure as a mother. Once, okay. Callum was very small. I left him asleep in the car while I ran an errand. Don't even remember what it was. When I came back, the sheriff was standing next to the car, watching my boy through the window. I didn't like what I saw in his eyes. Judgment. He wrote me the ticket without saying a word. Just the scratch scratch of his pen on the notepad. When he gave it to me, our eyes met. I know what you're going through. My daughter, Helen, she just gets some help. Help was a bolt of lightning. Help was a thousand volts surging through my veins. Help is agony. I'd Electroshock die. therapy. I want to scream. I'd rather you pulled your gun and shot me. But instead, my mouth said, "Yes, sheriff." Um. Well, here's another page to read. Uh, sure. Uh, 
continually delayed by the incompetence of the b the intruder. I don't. I can't read some of this. The the present is that they are locals and they behave a lot of the believe a lot of the rumors about what old man Henderson used to do here. They open up. They dr grew up on these tales. Every every time a lost every time a lost something a wrench goes missing. Oh, every time a bolt cutters or a wrench goes missing, those fools are crossing themselves against the black magic. Of course, that's why I chose this site over all other potentials. Solomon Island is a nexus for dark energies, and the thought of all that power just dissipi dissipating beneath the earth here, it makes my skin crawl. I called in a few favors back in Brooklyn and got someone at the uh, someone at the local academy to see if they had any interesting books about the history. Turns out they do, and it turns out that Old Man Henderson has some pretty strong connections to the Brooklyn crowd. Perhaps something he wrote will help me find the piece of the plans that I was missing. Okay. Uh, either way, that's about all the time I've got for this episode. Like and favorite if you liked the episode. Subscribe if you liked me. Good night, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye!